So this video, uh, second video on how to do twinery. This is how to embed a image using HTML. Um, and I'll just show you. So when you click on, double click on one of your options, um, you might want to put an image there. So we're going to put the image here, um, here. Um, well, and that, that this is just the coding for it. What will happen is when we press play, which is which is what it looks like. It, it, it'll be on the actual um, pick a path story. So we're going to put it there. Now the first thing to learn is on a, a site called w3schools.com where it gives you HTML tutorial. It actually just gives you the piece of code, which is a really good way to learn. So I'm just going to go down and find the piece of code I want to use, um, which is this one. This is a nice piece of code here. Um, and I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into here where I've written here. So that's my piece of code. Now, what you need to learn is when it says IMG, that means image, and SRC is basically telling us, asking the computer where to find the image. So it's going to go here between between these bits. So that's where the image needs to go. So I need to find an image. Uh, I'm going to go on to monkey images. You can probably see I've already done this. And I'm going to choose this gorilla. And this bit's quite important. What you do is you right click on the image and you need to open the image in a new tab. That bit's quite important. And it gives you the actual website image, where that image is on the website. And you need that address. So I'm going to copy the address from the address bar. And I'm going to go back to my editing option. And it needs to go between after image src equals oh, uh, speech marks. It goes in there. And I'm going to copy it in there. So what I've done is I've copied that piece of code. So there's my code. Hopefully it'll work. It's actually got the style and width and it's all in there. We'd probably need to change that because the width and height, which is 128 square, is different to this one. So I've probably shrunk it or moved it out. And you can actually see the um, see that it, you'll probably see it won't look quite right. But anyway, let's have a test and see what it looks like. So I'm going to close that. I've got my piece of code in. When I press play and open it up, we should have a picture of a gorilla. Quite small still. Uh, but an image of a gorilla nonetheless that's been embedded from the website. So let's see about increasing the size of it. Oops, what did I do? Mm -hmm. Not sure what happened there. Okay, so we're going to open up the piece of code again, and it said 128. It was this, the square isn't too bad i mean if you look at the image it's more of a rectangle it's more it's got more width than it does height so on it's probably about one and a half more times so it's a good bit of maths with your kids so let's say i wanted to go um i'm gonna go 500 which is a bit bigger and like i said it's one and a half approximately so i'm gonna go seven well i've not gone the wrong way around haven't i so that should be 500, and the width was about one and a half. So let's go 750. Um, that should change the size of it. So I'm going to get rid of that and press play to test what it looks like. And it should be bigger and wider. So you can see it's got bigger and wider, that image. And the kids can just kind of experiment with it, which just gives you a bit of maths when you're, when you're doing scales and stuff like that. So hopefully you've seen how to embed an image in your pick pass store. We do that was an option one. So if I actually started um, an option that my start of my story, oops, started here, start the story, and I pick option one, and you can see there's a gorilla and they can put images in. The good thing is this W3 school site will actually give you the HTML for lots of different things. So it's a good place to start. Um, and I'll show you something Pip taught me, which is how to move these. Um, how to change the picture in a website next, which the kids, which is a way to teach this actually, and the kids quite like. So that'll be in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one.